An ancient Jewish scroll survived the Holocaust and now has a second chance. KOAT Action 7 reporter Alana Grimstad shows us what a Santa Fe synagogue has done to preserve its history and what lessons we can learn from this experience. I think this Torah, if it could speak and we could hear its words, it would be crying for joy. During World War II, Jews all over Europe knew they were in grave danger. So they sent their Torahs, or holy scrolls, to a warehouse in Prague. As the theory goes, the Nazis loved the idea because they thought after killing off the entire Jewish race, the Torahs could be used as bragging rights. I think this is a lesson in hope. While the Jewish people were not wiped out, millions of them were murdered, leaving 1,500 hidden Torahs with nowhere to go. There was nobody left to claim them again. So they were sent to synagogues all over the world to tell their story. And this one came to Santa Fe, much like the Jewish people, badly battered but clinging for dear life. Almost at the point of no return. For the last year, congregants at Temple Beth Shalom have worked with a renowned scribe to restore the ancient Torah. The scroll can still live on. Rewriting each letter. A remarkable experience. And there are more than 300,000 letters that make up this sacred scroll. It's hard to describe. Now this emotional journey is coming to an end. Today we're going to be filling in the final letters. Leaving a lesson for people of all faiths of all times. We can hold the pain of the past but move beyond it and I think that's a very important lesson uh, for anyone. In Santa Fe, Alana Grimstad, KOAT Action 7 News. Not only did it survive the Holocaust, it also survived a severe flood in Santa Fe. Now it is restored to live on for generations.